Oh. This is going to be a quick one on this um, Browning um, pre Golden Eagle. Which, let me turn that down. Which is the um, Browning R27. R2700 and R2700A. All three of those R27 series are very, very similar. So um, the ping cap, which is this video is on, are in the same location. So we're going to set the uh, camera down and turn the radio on its side here. And um, this big yellow cap here, which is not the original cap, but that's the location area of the ping cap in the R27 2700 series of radios. Um, the ping cap positive is connected to this um, terminal strip here where that red wire comes in and that red wire is hard to see but if you can see under there it's darkened a little bit that goes to pin 6 of the audio tube the 6AQ5 audio tube up under there so pin 6 of the 6AQ5 audio tube on all the um, Brownings I believe uh, receivers which what controls the ping the uh, pin 6 to the terminal strip and that terminal strip has a uh, dropping resistor but also the um, ping cap goes out to the positive end of the um, ping capacitor and then the other end goes to ground. Ground could be any anywhere on the chassis that's a ground point or terminal on all that and again this was not the original cap um, for for a medium or short ping you want about 20 UF for a medium you want 40 and for a long you like want 60 or 80 UFs on it um, this is the schematic for the SAMS Browning R27 they don't make a SAMS on the R2700 or the 2700A but even though this radio is a R2700A which is very 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 close to the R2700 and if you look here on the Browning R27 on the SAMs that I have yellowed out is a smaller original ping cap but as you can see it'd be in the same area connected to the terminal strip there it's circled in red um, also, if you notice, I got it marked down there that the pin cap on the SAMS R27 Browning is marked as C5 for the pin cap. But if you go to the um, Browning um, schematics, this one here is a um, R27, which is the same radio as we got in the SAMS here, but I got the pink cap circled and in yellow there and if you notice um, even though it's the same radio the browning marks the pink cap on the same R27 radio as C31 and it originally comes with an 8 UF cap which is um, gonna give you a very very short ping or no ping with the 8 so if you want a uh, decent thing you gotta go 20 UFs or above 450 volt and last over here this is a browning schematic of the R2700A and the R2700 is actually pretty much exactly the same as as far as the ping in this area on it and where is that so um, you can use this reference for either the R2700 or the R2700A at the end and if you notice the pin cap is labeled C58 
and it's a 4 UF which won't give you any ping at all if you want uh, a ping you had to change it out so got that for a reference from the uh, factory schematic R2700A or R2700 it's labeled C58 and the original is a 4 UF at 450 again it's going to be in that location there and on the R2700 schematic it's C31 and it's an 8 UF and on the um, SAMS this is actually the picture or pinout it's C5 and I think I got the SAMS schematic here yep they just drew it a little different but that's the SAMS schematic is which is you know same thing just drawn a little differently than the um, browning schematic and again c5 8 uf um, 450 volt goes to pin 6 of the um, final audio tube and how the ping works is that if you see that 225 volt B and then that um, triangle which is zero that triangle indicates transmit so when you key down you know the Browning radio transmit it takes the voltage off of that uh, point on the receiver so basically you're turning off the um, audio final tube by removing that voltage and what the ping cap does is it's all charged up when you're receiving when you key down and you take that voltage it has it's going to keep a charge and discharge for a while so it's going to keep the voltage going and the more um, UFs you have you know the bigger the charge is going to hold the longer it's going to hold that voltage up and hence the longer the ping so that's how the ping works it's in the receiver and it just keeps that voltage going to the final tube and also over here to the um, to the audio driver tube it holds it on a, a few seconds when you um, key up the mic and that since the ping is created because you got the receiver receiving and the transmitter going and you get feedback and that's what creates the ping so anyway that's it on the scan the SAMS and that's gonna be it for um, this video just ping cap location on the um, pre Golden Eagle receivers the um, Browning R27, R2700, and R2700A. Bye.